Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah, huh? What a treat. Remind my wife of that shit. That's, uh, so I always try to remind her. It's like, you know, some people are excited to see me. And, um, but yeah, I'm funny for like maybe an hour. And then um, this shit gets fucking old. Um, I, um, it's weird. I, I've had the, you know, because I was single for a while before I met my wife, so, um, you know, it's been, it's been a change for me. I've had to learn, I had to learn how to argue with a woman, which I guess the best way to win is to fucking lose, because, um, that is the only way we're gonna stop fucking talking, isn't it? Um, I find out shit the hard way. That's the thing. I learned shit the hard way. I, I had to, I had to find out the hard way that pointing out she's on her period doesn't help my argument at all. I, I, I don't know why I'm dumb enough to think that she was gonna be like, ah, you got me. Ah. Been dripping this whole fucking conversation, John. You're a sharp one. Such an idiot. I, uh... We just found out recently we are we are gonna have a daughter. Yeah. I was kind of relieved when we got that news that it was gonna be a girl, cause I was like, oh yeah, the pressure's off me now. I don't have to teach anybody how to be a man. <laughs> cause I still don't fucking know. I, I mean, like, I never want to get that question from my son, you know. Dad, how do you talk to girls? Fuck, dude, I don't know. I, I mean, <laughs> don't point out they're on their periods. I know that. I mean, I just found that out last week. <laughs> so, yeah, I, uh, I went to the, I went to the gynecologist with her. I don't, I don't belong there. Um, <laughs> I don't fit in around here, do I, ladies? It's just like, ah, oh, shit, I, uh... Because it's not some place you frequent before you get in this situation. It's not like, you know, she's like, I got a gynecologist appointment, and I'm like, oh, can I go too? I mean, I want to see the stirrups. <laughs> but we got, uh, they did the ultrasound thing with the... I don't know what, it looks like underwater photos. I, I mean... It's like, see that little dot? That's, that's, that's the baby. I'm like, all right, so, um, I just want to get the fuck out of here, so. It doesn't look like anything. It just looks like a security guard stuck a flashlight up her butt, you know? I was like, like hey, I heard a noise. Is there anybody down here? I, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's just it's a different different thing, man. We I just realized these are these are these are my last years of you know like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Nobody's coming over. I kind of like that freedom, you know. I uh, I hated with I always hated holidays growing up. It was like oh fuck. <laughs> They're coming too, really. I, Fuck. Cause I mean, cause she and I are different. She was raised in an environment where it's like they they like their family. <laughs> we were completely different. It's like if somebody yeah, somebody knocked, we had we, our grandparents would knock on the door. We'd be like, Shh, shut up. <laughs> Get the dog. Shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is such a, you know, it's such a, it's such a festival of fucking, I mean, I sound like such a hippie, but it is, it's just, it's, it's just fucking, I, how many times, how many toys do they need? <laughs> My sister's kids, it's just, they just get inundated with fucking plastic. I, I mean, here, here's more shit, here's more shit. And I realized how, I mean, when I was a kid, how shitty fucking toys were. I, I mean, our toys sucked. They didn't do anything. 
hey, look, there's a guy, and he's... I guess I'm going to go get hit by a car. This is fucking boring. And that was my generation. I grew up in the 80s. I mean, I can't imagine, like, I mean, like, my parents, grandparents' generation. Remember, I mean, there was a time when slinkies were cool. I mean, kids were excited to wake up on Christmas morning to get a fucking spring. I, I mean... <laughs> No wonder they were so eager to sign up for fucking war. I, 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 I'm, I'm so bored, dude. I, I'm just, I'm playing with springs and fucking Play-Doh. I want to get out of here. I, um, it's, yeah, it's crazy. We just, uh, yeah, I, I was, I was in, um, I was in Dallas last week. Uh, today's November 22nd, the, the anniversary, 51st anniversary of JFK. And uh, I was in Dealey Plaza. It's hard to go. It was my first time going to Dealey Plaza, and it's hard to go to because you don't know how to approach that. Like you, you can't be like, yeah, fucking spring break. You know, I, I mean, it's it's kind of a sullen place to go. I, I mean, so it's just I don't know how to act. But yeah, we uh, we went there, and it's just it's uh, it's pretty fucking obvious that. Uh, I hate when people say good, al good always triumphs over evil. No, it doesn't. Good's a fucking pussy. Because <laughs> uh, if good ever triumphs over evil, it's not like evil's going to be like, ah, good game. Uh, that's fucking... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, go ahead. Go have a party with the Ewoks. Yeah, we're going to go lick our wounds. I mean, people, like, with JFK, we were like, oh, well, they need to reopen the, uh, the investigation. Who? You really want the man to fucking indict the man? You know, like, uh, I mean, like, so he's gonna be like, ah, you got me. Yeah, I, I've been dripping this whole fucking conversation, John. All right, I gotta go. Thank you, guys. So, obviously, we're finding out that Kaplitz is, um, it's an, it, it's an experiment as much it is, as it is, you know, some, some new comedy. Because if it's new comedy every month, sometimes that new comedy's not gonna work. We've, we've found this out uh, in other months. It's not like I'm, uh, what, 10 for 10 or something. Not 100%. I, I don't, I don't go into politics well because I feel like I'm I'm overloading people, and uh, you know I feel like they're out there like, hey man, uh, it's my birthday. <laughs> Why are you talking about <laughs> fucking presidential assassination? And it's just because I'm a dork and I've been a, I just I was I got a, I became a JFK buff like when I was in high school and you then watch his documentaries all day long. It, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm I didn't know, I didn't know this was troubling much. you so much. No, carry on. You know, I, I didn't really... That, you know what, that's why I got the virtual reality, the, the goggles thing. Yeah, that's To better. keep away from you. So then you won't know what I'm watching <laughs> all day. And it won't, it won't put you out so much while you're in your office. I hope you walk into a wall wearing those things. <laughs> that, thing was, that thing was badass. I gotta bring it. Um, the, um, the, it was just... And then the stuff about the, um, you know... We found out we're gonna have a daughter. That's baby girl. We're, we're are we still uh, Madden? Yes, Madden we're naming Jave her. Our right first now. radio show was the Madcap Hour, so we're naming our baby girl Madcap. Which I didn't even realize that Madcap <laughs> was like a like a saying. <laughs> like we had the radio show for two years, and I never realized that Madcap meant crazy person. She thought she thought the word "ain't" was invented in 1994. When I was in fourth grade. 1994. That was the first time I heard it. In fourth grade. I mean, but it's just I really. You thought that word was invented? No, I I actually, um, I, back in the day, like I I remember like I was gonna have my uh, my first my first productions company before F and Sweet. Productions. I was gonna call it Madcap Productions, oh. and I didn't. And then when we had a we had our radio show, I was like, call it the Madcap Hour. I don't care. 
because that's how I do things, <laughs> like tonight's set. And, um, you know, I don't care. Just send it out. Whatever. I, I'm just, I don't want to fucking, I don't want to plan. Nobody, I, I didn't get into comedy to do homework. I mean, so I, uh, yeah, it just kind of happens. And uh, sometimes that's good. Sometimes that's uh, lukewarm. Um, it's, because uh, it was a really great, it was a really fun audience tonight. You could feel like they had a really... They had a really cool energy about them, and um, and it was like, I, you know, I was like, you know, yeah, baby stuff, daughter stuff, marriage stuff, yeah. So what about JFK? And they're like, <laughs> oh, dude, thanks for ruining my high. Like, so it was, uh, it, you know, it's always, it's always a delicate area to, I guess. I, I guess I'll just have to keep it to my documentaries at home. <laughs> <laughs> All day. And your stupid virtual glasses. Yeah, I'm gonna be in my. Yeah, I'm just gonna be in my goggles. i mean, <laughs> you're like, I get my. I have a. I have a. I have a massage chair too, the vibrator chair. Like, uh, and in my office now, I'll be home or I'll be like, all right, well, excuse me, while I kiss the sky. I'll be in here all day. I'll be in my goggle helmet. I would actually rather you be in your vibrator chair watching porn on those glasses than dorking out over something. Wait, that's the first thing you said too when I got him out is you're just like oh you dude because she's such a frat guy. She's <laughs> like oh dude I can watch you can watch so much porn now in public people won't even notice. I'm like what no people will yeah. notice because I mean I'm not just gonna watch porn who just watches it? Nobody just watches I porn. Like stories. <laughs> I don't, all right? I watch JFK documentaries because I'd like to stimulate my mind. And then I watch porn for four or five minutes. And when I'm done, I'm disgusted with those people. Like, jeez, your parents must be really upset. And I call them friends. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of trouble <laughs> ra raising our daughter. <laughs> Madden, no, <laughs> don't listen to this one, ever, <laughs> ever, okay? Daddy knows best, trust me. Can I have Sunday back? I'll be in Cleveland, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, well, uh, yeah, you can have, here's your Sunday. all right, fine. Thank you. Have your ice cream, all right, just eat your ice cream, and don't think about a world where JFK gets shot from the grassy knoll, punk ass. Grassy knoll. Uh. Say again. <laughs> Say again, Miss Fudge, Fudge, Fudgy Lips. Why do they call it the grassy knoll? No other place of like land do I see and be like, oh, that's a grassy knoll. Well, in the documentaries that I watch all day, I found out that there was one woman who labeled it as such. I think she was a lady who was there, um, and she called it the uh, the grassy knoll, and it stuck. So I I think it's the only place in the world with a knoll. I don't think there's a lot of knolls around, but uh, yeah, it's a grassy knoll. It's a hillside. It's, you know, it's weird going there. I felt like I'd been there before, but Because yeah. you watch all your other documentaries. All day. I need, I need my own house. Okay. Oh, shit. I was thinking the same ever. thing. I can eat so many Tired things. of this. Tired of this ungrateful Sunday eater. Mm-mm. What? I miss wine. It was so much cleaner. She, I, it's, oh, it's, I miss wine. It was so much cleaner. Okay. Good She's job. talking with a mouthful of fucking fudge again, which happens a lot. <laughs> I've decorated myself in chocolate at this point. I can't really say shit. I ate a yard of Twix last week. Um, <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's a wrap for this caplet. Um, try to stick with me, all right? Sons of bitches.